Tim Moore of Seacoast Guide Service shares his tactics for striper fishing without a bow. On my lighter rod, I can use these stick baits. These soft plastic stick baits are really good in slow moving water. This stick bait will simulate an eel. Uh, this, this area especially is full of American eels and uh, it's a, a main forage of the striped bass. I'm going to stick to mostly white or silver lures, something with some flash. The typical rule of thumb is uh, bright days, bright colors, uh, dark days, darker or neutral colors, and then at night, fish you know, really dark and black. I usually vary my retrieve until I find something that seems to work best. It might be a tap, you know, a tap, 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 kind of rhythmic, and it, it might be more erratic, tap, tap, and just kind of twitch it. It's the other thing with shore fishing is if you think it's time to lift your lure out of the water, keep it there just a second longer because 90% of the time they're going to hit it within five feet of the shoreline. They'll wait till that last minute and they think that they've ambushed their prey and they hit it. I feel fortunate in New Hampshire to have so much shore access that's either state owned or state managed. New Hampshire, I think, has done a really good job of providing fishermen with some great shore access sites. Saltwater fishing access. Find it at fishnh.com. It's a soft plastic swim bait, and you just cast and reel. It's a paddle tail shad, and it's got a really erratic fish-like action. And this, these particular ones I like because they seem to list over to one side as they swim, and every now and then they'll list back and forth, and they they look wounded. And the stripers seem to love them. One of the good things about the shore fishing that I like is stripers are chasing the bait into an eddy or into a cove try to fish a cove from a boat when that's happening, you're retrieving your bait in an unnatural direction. The bait's not really swimming away from shore, they're swimming into shore. People ask you where they should fish and tell them just find water. If you can get access and water, fish it. There's probably stripers there.